You want to do that? Yeah, we do it. won't stop. It won't stop, guys. Stop. It may just have one foot If you lean forward like me, if you sit back in the front. Right, I'm This is the speed test, Michael. Dawson's most highly trained driver. Push it forward, it tilts forward easier than back, but it's 400 kilos. Thereabouts. So, what speed did it come out actually? It came out at just under 4 miles an hour. 3.86 miles an hour. 4 miles an hour. Obviously, that's after a little bit of use, so. Um, anyway, that aside, we're going to go to the Waybridge now. Yeah. Once we've got Who's that, right? Who am I um, following? Jim and Gary. Yeah. And they'll. Um, They'll weigh it and then we'll get together and we'll work out exactly what's what, what and it does and doesn't comply with, um, and then I'll work out where I'm going to send it to next. Right. Um, you see, it may well, it I'll may get that well email be to you that we well. can say, well, it doesn't comply, you are committing an offence, but then we take it to the next step, which is give it to the Crown Prosecution Service to say, so would you, would you consider, well, no, they can't give you an exemption, but what, they can, what I can say is, do you consider that it would be in the public interest to prosecute this person in respect of breaking this law? It's not this yeah. bit of legislation, and so they, they may come back lenient. and say, "Well, not unless he not, hurts it's someone or not something." Not really like in the that. public interest to prosecute him, because what? Why would it be? Mm. Um, but my concern with that is the caterpillar treads that are uncovered, um, and so what that is, we've got to so balance that against the risk. I'm the prepared public. to get covers made for the tracks yeah. if that is your only concern. Um, they are going to cost too much to get a bit of metal bent. Uh, I've got a contact up at Wessex Trailers who will take kit out the back of this and yeah. that. So getting a bit of a checker plate, it would probably be checker plate, I would imagine. Oh, just literally um, where the battery pack is, it could be bolted onto there, a couple of brackets made to come up and stand up, come across and then just go down. So it would have like three um, brackets yeah, coming up yeah. with the cover. If that would make yeah. you happy, I'd be prepared to do that. But That's again, it's not. We, we don't have the authority to say yes. You can break that yeah, law. Yeah. We, we can't do that. We have no authority to do that. Yeah. We have to take that to a, a, a higher place, if you like. Yeah. Um, for them to look at and for them to make a decision on, on how we're going to get around it. Right. But. But you yeah, yourself idea, can't see no problem. But obviously, you've got to act yeah, within we, the legislation. Got, we have to comply with what the legislation says. The only thing you're concerned about is the treads being. Exposed, so to well, that, say. Yeah, we, we, we've got to think of but we public can work, safety issues. But we can work around that. It probably wouldn't harm actually to have covers on them because when you go through the water, the water spreads. Someone might decide that it's far too wide anyway. Mm. Not too much 
just because I know the consistency. It's only 22 centimetres, 10 centimetres a side. It's not, when yeah. you look at it like that compared to a normal but, chair. But you, you think about it, like, you think about it going along the pavement. Mm -hmm. Well, if it's if it's given the um, uh, given it registration and everything, then I could go down the road. Down anyhow, the road, that wouldn't yeah. be a problem. Yeah. And ideally, that would be the ideal solution because yeah. yeah. then I can use it at carnivals and uh, yeah. anything like that. Because you imagine that at a carnival, yeah. how many people are going to chuck money in a little trailer on the back of that for the funding? Because we're even thinking of starting up some trying to get some charitable organisation going where we can raise the money by hiring out the chair mm -hmm. to buy more so anybody with disabilities can actually use them and try and get a little bit of off-road on a farm or something with not big rams but yeah. just something they can have go going through some mud and yeah. stuff like this and um, at the same time raise money to, to change people's lives because it has unleashed my life's limitations but now it's been limited <laughs> basically. So I can understand where you're coming from and hopefully you can see where I'm coming from and I just want to make sure I don't lose the chair at the end of the day and get the in trouble. The whole point of us being to try and find a way around it rather trying than just to, find to say, a solution. Here's, a, here's a ticket, you're off the court. Yeah, so, so that's what I don't want to do. Not only that, you can take and crush it, I suppose, or is that it? Um, potentially. You date it would, yeah. Anyway, we'll let you crack on. Alright, uh, cheers to your time, Matt. And I'll sit. be in touch. I'll get that email to you as soon as I can as well. Alright, right. cheers then. Hang on, I'll sort it. Sometimes, mate, you've got Hiya, um, just an update with what's been going on. Uh, Matt Butler has just confirmed that it is breaching laws, so to say. Uh, and as it stands, it can't be used on the road and that. They are going to put, it doesn't fall into any legislation, like Em says. They're going to uh, put forward to the CPS, VOSA and the DVLA over this to see if it's in the public interest to take action, obviously, and so on and so forth. They might say it's not in the public interest to prosecute and give me exemption that way, we'll see. Uh, but as it stands, we're just off to a Weybridge following this car. Yeah, I know where the tip is. Okay. Okay. Just in case you, you lose us on the way. Okay. All right. So we're just about to follow this constable down to the Weybridge uh, in Dorchester by the tip. So uh, we're following now. There's no need to blue light it, mate. <laughs> Here's our police escort. We've got one in the front. All the way from Weymouth to Dorchester. Um, if I go into the mirror, you can see, if I zoom in, there's a white van behind. That's police inspectorates.